Hi, my name is Chayasit Thai Pawan and from Thailand. Today I would like to explain you how to use the SQL Alchemy. Uh, it's an ORM database for Python. Okay. Uh, if you want to uh, like a, a insert, update, delete or query uh, your database like a relational database. For example, uh, my SQL, SQLite, uh, Oracle or PostgreSQLDB uh, by using the ORM technique. Okay, SQL Kimi is the answer. Okay, um, first of all, my English is not much good, but I will try my best uh, to explain you. In order to explain you uh, quickly, uh, I will create a project like this by using uh, Visual Zero Code. I create a folder uh, SQL Alchemy uh, uh, Score Workshop and create a file um, main.py okay our source course I will uh, upload to my github and share uh, in description of this YouTube okay um, in order to uh, install the SQL Alchemy uh, you have to type something like this pip3 install okay by open your um, terminal in VS Code Okay. In order to open your terminal in VS Code, uh, I will show you. You just uh, click here and right click and uh, open integrated terminal. Okay. In case of window, uh, I recommend you to use CMD. Okay. I think that uh, I have too many shells, so I will close uh, some section. Okay. And then you have to install uh, SQL Alchemy. Okay, like this. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I already installed it. Now I will uh, begin writing. Okay, first of all, I will create I will create a file readme.txt and explain you what you have to do in uh, each step. As I told you, you have to uh, install uh, SQL Alchemy first. Okay, and then you have to uh, import uh, the uh, core packet okay import the core packet of sql alchemy okay i will show you uh, here is the core packet like a uh, sql uh, alchemy and uh, import first is a function to create the uh, database engine okay we will have to use this uh, function to select uh, the brand of database that you want to connect. For example, if you want to connect uh, MySQL, you have to specify uh, the driver uh, via this function. Okay, you will see its letter, how it works. And next is a column. And uh, next is the data type, like uh, integer, fold, and string. Okay, you can. Uh, use it to specify the type of each column and uh, operator uh, you might have to use operator uh, for uh, some QLE condition okay okay just this I think and then you have to uh, import uh, another one uh, SQL Alchemy um, ORM and import uh, the one name uh, section maker um, this function is used to uh, create a section uh, when you need to uh, alter uh, your database like uh, insert update or delete um, the data will change when only uh, you commit the section okay and this function is used to create a section uh, that you uh, use like a reference to commit your data okay and the last one you have to import is sql uh, uh, kimi uh, dot ext and uh, declarative um import declarative base declarative base is a function uh, that is uh, used to create the uh, base class uh, the base card in uh, sql uh, L alchemy uh, is used to uh, like uh, uh, 
it, it, I think uh, you have to see the code. Okay, let's uh, I continue coding and you will see it. First, uh, I have to create the engine instance like this. And here is where you have to uh, define what database brand that you want to connect. For example, if you want to connect uh, like a SQ Lite, uh, you have to uh, like a, a database file location like this. In this case, I will uh, create a database, local database uh, SQ Lite with this name CM Stock. Okay, but in case that you want to connect with Postgate, uh, you have to check the document uh, of uh, SQL Alchemy. Uh, it will show you uh, what format that you have to tie here in order to connect database like a Postgate or MySQL. Okay, and then uh, you have to create a section like this section uh, maker. Okay, and uh, you have to set uh, the engine to this section by uh, do like this and section and then uh, use the constructor create the section object and now um, you uh, if you run uh, I recommend you to run this code first to see if there is any uh, error okay uh, I will type Python and main and run and it look like uh, there is some error okay First, I think uh, first is a uh, okay. Let me check key A and here. Okay, I think I have to add another another part like right? this, and then again and okay. Now there is no any error, but um, you will see that uh, there is no any database created right now. Uh, that is because we uh, still don't have uh, this code. Uh, you in order to create a database you have to uh, use uh, something like this uh, is a base dot meta uh, data dot create or this function is due to uh, initial uh, data the database structure okay uh, so uh, what you have defined like a table okay it will create uh, after this line in this slide you have to put the engine okay but um before we will uh, call this slide you have to define uh, the class that you will map to your database table first in this case you have to uh, uh, create the instance uh, like a class name base okay and using uh, declarative base like this and begin uh, type class in this case i will create uh, the table okay um i as i uh, let assume that i will create a table for product for a product okay product and i have to inherit base like this and then uh, we have to uh, specify uh, which uh, what the database name uh, sorry we have to define the table name uh, that we will, that we will map uh, to this class so you have to type a uh, table name and then score and initial is a uh, table name in this case uh, I will uh, assume that this table uh, name is a uh, product okay and then I will begin uh, specify the column name and uh, attribute ID okay I we have ID normally is integer and I need it at the primary key okay so I will set this is the primary key like this and then I, I will create a name is a, a name uh, it's a name of the product and I think this is a string this is a string and I need to uh, fix uh, the uh, the the, the, the length of this name for example 100 okay and then pi pi I think that it should be float or double but in this case I use float okay and the last one is stock or quantity okay and column and integer okay and that's this and now uh, if I comment this line okay if I comment this line and 
uh, I try to run again and you will see that there is still no any uh, database created as I told you uh, your database is will uh, be created after uh, this slide is coded okay I will show you now and now you will see uh, the database file okay is created and uh, cm stock db in order to see uh, the in uh, its structure i recommend you to install the uh, vs code extension name sqlite this is extension uh, to view the sqlite database okay i already installed it in order to use you just like click at the database file and uh, look for uh, open database and you should see something like this okay this is a uh, uh, previously uh, I will cross okay and you will see this okay and you will see uh, the structure okay if you right click and you will see the uh, show table uh, right now uh, there is no any data yet okay so uh, you just see the structure is structure only okay then I, I will begin insert in order to insert, uh, you have to uh, uh, define an object. One object is stand for the one row in your table. Okay. Assume that I will create uh, the product, uh, a product uh, object, uh, product one, and I will create something like this product, and I initial each value. Like uh, first one is a uh, Arduino is a um, is a some brand of IoT uh, device okay and uh, price one hundred and stroke uh, is ten okay I think just this okay and now I will uh, show you how to insert it by using section add and follow by product one and um is still not uh X and uh, it's still not change your data it's still not really insert your data okay it will insert your data or change your data uh, when ever uh, when only uh, you are commit your section first okay before you have to commit your section before okay now i show you okay and now i will right click and you should see the data is already insert into this table okay if you want to insert more okay you can create this one and this one and this one you can uh, do something like this okay i will show you product two and maybe uh, i will set this like a um node mcu and pry is one zero one okay and now i will uh, add this okay but uh, because there is uh, more than one instance uh, i don't want to uh, add one by one okay i will comment it like this uh, i think i need to uh, add more mm -hmm. uh, product three and uh, this one should be uh, like a led mm -hmm. and uh, stock may be uh, like this uh, to make it something different okay in order to add multiple okay multiple objects okay multiple row you have to uh, use the section dot add score all and this function it will accept the array you can put your data like this okay now i will show you okay after i run and i uh, try to um, refresh the table again you will see now all data is insert uh, into this table okay i will call it and next section i will show you how to query okay uh, i will query all first in order to query it's so easy uh, you can use like a, uh, you can define a, like a array variable and try to use section dot query and uh, put your uh, class that represent to uh, that, that represent the uh, table database table okay uh, in case that you uh, want to curate all you just put this and uh, you uh, 
if you want to see um, how many record in this result you can uh, do something like a uh, product in products okay and print in this case uh, i will print it all product id product name product price and product stock okay now i will show you okay you will see that uh, it print okay it print uh, all information uh, that in uh, this uh, database that in this table okay but uh, you have uh, you see that uh, you can see that uh, there are many row uh, not only three because uh, I call uh, this uh, code uh, many times multiple times so uh, it insert many many many, many times as well okay uh, next is uh, how to uh, query with condition i will comment this first okay and show you how to uh, query uh, with condition for example if i want to uh, get the data of product uh, i know of the of product that have id one only how to do this okay i create the object okay product and use section as previous and QLE and product and in this case I have to uh, append like a filter and in the filter uh, I have to uh, put the condition like a product ID uh, equal equal uh, one okay and if you expect it have only one and you you want to return the single object you have to uh, append with first function okay and then i will print i think that i will copy uh, this one and put this one okay now i will show you you see that i can get the data uh, of the product now that have the product id uh, one okay and if i share this three okay okay that's correct right uh, and in case that you want to um, get uh, the data uh, maybe uh, multiple and with multiple condition okay i will show you how to do that uh, in this case uh, i will copy uh, above and paste it here okay with uh, all operation let me uh, uncomment this okay in this case uh, i try to query um, with filter okay but not first okay but uh, i will uh, query the group of data that have the condition like this okay uh, in this case i want to uh, add a condition uh, add a, 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 a need to uh, like a join um, to condition uh, by using all operation uh, actually uh, they have uh, many operation uh, in sql alchemy you can check in the document but in this clip uh, i will use all only and then um, you have to add a condition here is the condition that you want uh, to add in this operation for example i want to add product name uh, equal equal uh, like uh, uh, do you know do you know uh, and comma uh, comma is separate the con condition okay in this all and uh, another one is node mcu so in this case uh, it should return the array uh, of product that is name uh, have uh, arduino and um, node mcu okay i will show you okay you will see that uh, it show only Arduino and not MCU but not show the LED uh, so if you want to prove you can change this to LED and run again and you will see now it's not show the Arduino uh, it show just only Arduino uh, it's not show the not MCU it show only Arduino and LED mm -hmm. and next one is an uh, update and then it's not much difficult it's like a QLE okay but just 
um, uh, update after query. So uh, in this case, you can uh, copy uh, code that you want to uh, update first. Uh, you can copy code of uh, the query code uh, that you want to update. For example, I want to uh, update. Um, I think I, I want to update only only uh, the single the single row first. So in this case, uh, I will update by uh, select from product ID. For example, I want to change some data uh, of product ID one. Okay. So in this case, uh, I have to uh, query and um, use this condition. But don't forget to uh, append with first to return only single or uh, only first. Okay. Uh, otherwise, it will return uh, in array. Okay. That match to this condition. But in this case, we expect to only one. And if you want to, um, okay. Let me close something. Um, if you want uh, to uh, change, uh, you can change it easily by uh, product and uh, for example, I want to change name. I will change name from Arduino to is my name, uh, to name, uh, to my name, uh, leg and uh, price. Okay, I think I will change to one and stock two and then if you want to uh, 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 make the change effects, okay, you have to like that. section commit okay auto uh, if you write just this it will not change okay it will change only uh, when only you commit it first okay and uh, then i will uh, run it okay and you will see that uh, the product id one now its name is changed to leg okay not uh, arduino anymore okay in case that you want to update uh, many row, okay, that match the condition. Okay, I will comment this. Uh, I think that um, I will use this code uh, to select. Uh, I will uh, let, let me com comment um, update uh, single single row, and this one is update multiple row okay in this case uh, I will change um, I think I will check um, all row that is product name uh, is set uh, as Arduino okay so I just remove this one and remove all operation so this one it will return uh, the product uh, that is name is Arduino and if you want to change uh, uh, the product name uh, from Arduino to something else, okay. Uh, in order to change, you can uh, call update function like this, and you have to put in object and follow by uh, the key. Uh, in this case, is uh, name and uh, don't forget to set this add key and value by using a colon. Mm -hmm. And the new name is saying that is IoT. Mm -hmm. And don't forget uh, your data will uh, will 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 be, be you know, will be changed when only your section is commit first. Okay, now I will come run again and refresh. And now you will see that all Arduino okay uh, is changed to IoT. Okay, and that's this. Um, the last one is I will now nah, the last one is delete. Okay, let me show you how to delete. Delete is like update. Okay, um, you can uh, delete uh, single row by using this and delete. Okay, I will show you. Uh, I copy code uh, of update. Okay, in case that I want to update. Uh, row that product ID is one okay so I just get the object of this row and product dot delete okay just this okay and then you have to uh, commit uh, let me comment uh, this course okay and if you run and okay um 
I think there is something wrong happen. Uh, product delete uh, first delete. Let me check my note. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that oh okay. In case of you want to delete, uh, you cannot return. First, you have to return. It's like a, a array. Okay, it's like a set, and then delete. Mm -hmm. So in this case, I recommend you uh, to uh, to name it as uh, array. Okay, plural. Okay, I will try again. And if it work, if it work, uh, you should uh, not uh, you should not see uh, the row product ID one. I right click. Okay. You see that uh, the row with ID one is removed already, and if you want to remove multiple, okay, it's so easy. Uh, you just I will copy this and change uh, delete single, okay, and delete multiple. I just uh. Change the condition uh, like a L, uh, I think IoT. Okay, I will remove uh, all product name IoT. Okay, so in this case, uh, the um, all product row that's name is uh, IoT will be removed. Okay, let's see. Okay, right click and show table. Now you will see uh, there is no longer a uh, product uh, row that have product name uh, is IoT. And this is about uh, um, uh, SQL alchemy. Okay, okay. Uh, I think that um, you will understand what my explain. Okay, and I'm sorry for my English is not much well, but I already try my best. Okay, thank you for watching. Okay, bye bye.